Starting today, buying cigarettes will cost Nevadans an extra dollar per pack. That's because of a new tax that passed in the legislature this year. Ariana Bennett joins us now live from the newsroom with how Nevadans feel about it. Ari? Well, so far this tax has gotten mixed reviews. Uh, smokers we spoke to aren't pleased about the extra costs and said the tax hike might actually force them to quit. But that is exactly what the backers of the law were hoping for. It's going to be an issue for a lot of people, especially me, you know, with the, uh, you know, with the amount of money I make. I choose to smoke a cigarette, and um, I don't want to pay $10 for them. The main thing for us as a health organization is it will reduce consumption. People will stop and say, you know, an extra 10 bucks for a carton, this is the time for me to consider stopping it. Now McCoy says the extra dollar per pack is expected to reduce Nevada's smoking population by 4% over the next few years. That's an estimated 16,000 current smokers. And on top of that, they think it will actually prevent about 10,000 kids from starting the habit in the first place. Now the money raised from the tax is slated for the general fund, but is expected to go toward anti-smoking education. And along with the extra funds, McCoy says this tax will also save the state a big chunk of change. The costs of, that's related to smoking, which is lung cancer, heart, productivity, etc., it's about $900 a household per year. So when you can start doing your math, it's almost a billion dollars. And McCoy says the tax does not address other tobacco products, so they are still pushing for higher taxes on those, as well as more regulation on e-cigarettes. Now, if you're trying to quit smoking, there are free resources that can help you. So for more information on that, just head to our website, ktvn.com. Covering the story live from the newsroom, Ariana Bennett, Channel 2 News.